Okay, another Petroid Tools debrief. Uh, I've got to be honest, this has probably been the worst Petroid Tools trip yet regarding my diet. Good grief, I feel like I've put on about a stone in the last week. Just omelets, bread, cake, and that's just breakfast. Then you've got tapas or half loaf of bread sandwiches for lunch. Uh, and then three course dinners, ice creams in the afternoon, beers, gins, good grief. But other than that, it's been mega. Actually, that's a lie. Other than that, my <laughs> camera's broken. Literally got to like day uh, two, three. I was rattling around in the catering all day and the screen on this would only work in one position. So if the videography on the handheld camera's been a bit dodgy, I'd apologize this still works i can take pictures with it i just can't see what i'm doing so i've had to replace the camera other than that just another mega trip the thing that amazes me is that i've done the spain trip three times now and it's roughly the same hotels roughly the same roads bar a garmin reroute a little diversion um so roughly the same route, but it's just a different trip again because of the cars and the people. It's, it just makes the trip. Like we've had everything from, we had a Focus ST Estate, a BMW M140, uh, a bunch of Porsches, just cause they do the job really well. So uh, yeah, make it, they're always good bits of kit. Um, a Ferrari 355 <laughs> manual, right hand drive. That was awesome. Um, and then AMG GTR Pro, Porsche Macan GTS. A couple of people are like, he's bringing a Porsche Macan on tour. Yeah, he wasn't holding anybody up. In fact, a couple of people were letting him pass because he was <laughs> pushing them up the roads. So that was a mega bit of kit. Uh, R8 convertible. Uh, I'm sure I've missed something. Oh, GT3s, 992 GT3s. Never seen a 992 GT3 before in my life. There was one PDK, one manual. Um, day four, I think, I was driving the PDK all day. It, uh, just a phenomenal bit of kit. Um, everyone said they're really hard and uh, they'll rattle your fillings out and they won't do speed bumps and they're too quiet. All lies, mega bit of kit. Definitely go and get one, uh, super comfy, even on the motorway. Like super comfy is maybe a bit uh, compliant. It's very compliant. Uh, M8 convertible, I didn't even know they did an M8 convertible. I've driven an M8. We've got a couple at work. I didn't know that they did a convertible one. Um, it's, but I think it's basically an M5 two-door convertible underneath. And that, again, just a, a mega bit of kit. But nobody was holding anybody up. Some people with the faster stuff wanted to drive a little bit slower on the cut of sessions or cut on a couple of bits of roads. Absolutely fine. For two long radio, we're all on radios. Radio through whoever's behind to come by. It's not an issue. Everyone does their own pace, although it's all pretty rapid. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, the sound of that 345 was just incredible. We sat with Chris for, for a day and uh, yeah, he was ringing that thing out. It's just, the, hearing, hearing the clonk clonk of the, of the gated manual, uh, you, he's got a Lambrini, whatever it's called, exhaust on it. L Larini, sorry, I can't remember. Lambrini exhaust, I call it. Uh, and then uh, just to look over and see him, him and his purple loafers healing, <laughs> healing so it was just incredible. Getting to drive 
I think my favourite road that I've ever seen uh, was incredible. The the road up to the Serra de Estrella, the first time I went up it with Super Gav in the 812, because you're kind of going up like the ridge of a mountain, you've got like mega views in both directions and the bit of tarmac itself is really good and it's quite fast and flowing. There's not too many like um, switchbacks and stuff. And uh, just the first time I went up it, I've dreamt of trying to get some car of mine over there to be able to drive up it. But the trouble is it's quite steep. So anything that I've got, which is all about 150 horsepower, will feel like about 50 horsepower on the way up. So to have the object, I just asked to ride with Chris in the R8 because I thought, roof down, because I went last year I did it with uh, Captain Andy in his Porsche Boxster. So to have it with the roof down, bit of exhaust noises, I thought, oh, what am I gonna go in with? I'll ask Chris to see if I can jump in with him. R8, V10, roof down, thank you very much. And when I asked him, he kind of paused and looked at me and I thought, oh no, he doesn't want me to, <laughs> doesn't want me in the car. And he went, yeah, but you should probably drive. And I was just, oh, my face just dropped. I was like, really? And he, he let me drive his car all day, all the way up the top of the mountain, all the way down the other side, I chased, uh, Pete in the M2 all the way up and I chased Dan in the who was driving Tom's GT3 on the way back down again Just I mean what a day what that that oh, yeah And then the following day I think it was the following day or day after I jumped in with Aaron in his AMG GTR Pro again I think I've only ever seen one maybe parked up at Goodwood so to then have the opportunity to be in one was awesome and that thing has got so much grunt it's so awesome typical lovely mercedes amg uh, affair on the inside nice and comfy on the motorway great stereo and then you get in the twisties and it's just mega and then five minutes before lunch you went yeah do you want to drive it this afternoon to the hotel <laughs> so i was like yeah and Again, press a couple of buttons, it's nice and comfy. Go to like Sport or Sport Plus. I think Sport Plus, it opens the valves up, makes a bit more noise. And then race mode, good grief. It feels like a Le Mans car, it is so planted. And I thought it was gonna be a real handful. It looks like it should be a real muscle car. V8 tur twin turbo in the front, rear wheel drive. It's just gonna try and kill you at every corner. No, it's got so much compliance, it's so much feel through the car and it is just, sticks and goes it's absolutely incredible so that was <laughs> that was enough for mega day <laughs> had another little quick go in uh paul and emma's uh 718 spider he's got some sort of sporty exhaust on that as well Th those cars are just brilliant not like a bit more compact than a than a 911 um great for the tour as well his one was a manual um just to be able to to get the roof down and fly around we went up to the um graveyard to go and spot some planes again with captain duncan who has actually flown a bunch of the planes that were there so that was really cool and then another day me and uh, dave in the catering we did a bit of a diversion and went in his 620r up a mountain to go and find some snow end up having a snowball fight just <laughs> you couldn't write it it's just mad as with all these trips i always I'm a bit worried before I go away that I'm gonna film enough and capture enough of the magic that happens on tour. Um, I mean, if you've got to this stage, hopefully you've watched all the rest of the videos and you'll be the judge of that. But I always end up filming way too much. I'll get to about 11 o'clock and I've filmed enough for about three days. So uh, trying to not film everything and actually enjoy the trip is one thing but then not film enough is another thing so i'm always wary of trying to film enough but hopefully i have done several times a day i just find myself giggling and it's it's like i i can't 100 percent feel that what is happening is real if that makes sense i'm almost having like a flash forward of a flashback and just be like at some point I'm going to be thinking about this moment, like whatever I'm seeing, whatever's happening, what car I'm in, the views, the laugh that we're having. It's just, these trips are just memories for life. And that's as much about the actual trip itself, but also the people that are on it. Everyone that's on these trips is always so nice. They're always just, uh, just up for it. As I've said before, if you are not just into cars, if you are into driving, if you just find yourself wanting to go for a blast, even on your own, book up to one of these trips, because it's like that, but with the 20 other people who are all in the same boat, who just love driving, just love, and the conversations around the bar, um, and at dinner, and at the lunch, all the time, it's just, we're just laughing about cars and just 
giggling and a couple of the, a couple of the dinners, man. I have not had laughed so hard. <laughs> I just stitches some of that. It's just. <laughs> to be fair, that's probably one of my. Uh, if I was going to rank each bit of the trip in order, oh, would I say this? I'm going to say it's a joint first between like the actual driving and I've been able to drive some mega stuff on this trip as well but the social time with the guys just the camaraderie and the banter and the storytelling and the laughs just you could go and do this trip on your own the the roads and the hotel and everything would be the same and you'd have fun but to go and do it with 20 other guys in uh, just such a <laughs> diverse collection of cars who have all got their own stories to tell and their own backgrounds and their own walks of life and that's probably the bit I enjoy the most the the social bit because it's oh, it's just great as always guys I've rambled on uh, too much uh, and it's also getting really hot in here because the sun's actually come out and I'm in the conservatory and it's getting a bit warm so it's the first time I think since I've been back from Spain that I'm actually getting a bit too hot um, Massive thank you guys for watching the videos. Um, if you've subscribed, liked, etc., left a comment, thank you ever so much. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe. The, the channel is going in the right direction. I'm getting more and more subscribers every day, which is brilliant, so thank you for that. Um, bigger thank you to everyone who has let me passenger in their cars or on the trip. A bigger thank you to everyone that's let me drive their cars on the trip, uh, which I was not expecting, but it seems to happen on some of these trips, which is which is incredible. A massive thank you to Jamie Eliza in the McCann GTS who looks after my luggage for the entire trip. They had the biggest boot. They actually picked me up from my house on the way to the ferry, uh, looked after my luggage the entire trip. So not only were they probably in the biggest, highest car um, with all their two's luggage and my luggage, they were still pushing people up the road. So well done to you guys. Um, the biggest shout out is to Pete and Dan for organising these tours uh, and, and having me along on these trips because they're just incredible. If you are, I'll say it again, if you are into your uh, driving, not just into your cars, if you're into driving, you love going for a drive, link in the description, Petro Tours, or just Google Petro Tours, go and sign yourself up for a trip. Um, you will not regret it. It's incredible. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you very soon. Mate, it's not a petrol at all until, you, until you've heard cows on the road, over the radio. Maybe you lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, do some bird outs. Do some pops and bangs and milk this lot. Is that fun though? Yeah. Driving everything. Tom, what's cracking? <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs>